Oh, wow, wow. Uh, as a Jewish person, Neon D said, here's my take on the no-name situation. Thanks for the $10, by the way. The idea that a leftist-center person who constantly claims to fight for equality and against oppression has a Jewish exception isn't rare. Oh, no. Oh, I hate to see it. Man, that sucks, man. That's tough, man. But you know how it is, man. Where because a lot, and this is what I find interesting too. Where it's like, you know, this is how we flip things, right? Before it was the Jewish people are the evil people who are trying to take down everything, da da da, and like that's how we treat them. And then it's kind of formulated into okay, now that they are a minority, well, but they're like the minority that suffers the least, so that's why we can't, you know, ally with them because it's like. There's always an excuse, isn't there? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> With like, oh, well, you Jewish people were able to not be noticed by, you know, hiding your names and stuff like that. So, so that's why we can't be allies with you because you're just able to. It's like, okay, wait, hold on a second. They were hated on all this time, throughout all this time, and then the moment where we're all like really talking about what's going on in this day and age, it's just like, well, well, because all that time you had to survive and you were doing what you had to do to survive. Fuck you, man! How dare you do your best to survive? It's like, no, come on, let's stop doing this. It's just oppression of livings by another name, you know? Because that's what the leftist version of the anti-Semitism kind of looks like, right? It's like the, well, I mean, black people had it worse, so it's Jewish people. Did it. It's just like, fuck, fuck out of here with this oppression of living shit. That's so, that's so, uh, it's 2000s. We off that. And you know, here's the problem with this shit, right? The problem with these lyrics is that it's not outright what they're saying. So... I understand why people do the thing of like, well, hold on a second. Plausible deniability. Uh, come on. Uh, like, I understand why people are doing that. But it's like one of those things where it's just like, I, as a person looking at the situation, have to be able to divorce it from like, the fact that these people are obscuring the reality of how they feel is in effect trying to make the people that are taking it in good faith, you know what I'm saying, to be like, well, I don't know. Well, come on. Because if they just straight now say, ah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? That that doesn't work, right? And, and here's the thing about this, too. Like, I think we kind of forget about the fact that it's like, not a lot of, like, not, most people who have, like, beliefs that are, like, you know, anti or whatever, like, it's not actively malicious. It's stuff that they kind of passively picked up. It's like, well, isn't that just kind of true that, like, they're kind of in control of everything in general? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not people being actively racist. It's people passively accepting reality. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, there are a lot of Jewish people in Hollywood, so I'm just saying. It's like, okay, yeah, but those Jewish people had to hide that they were Jewish for years. Is it because they were hiding their power level? Or is it because they just didn't want to get killed because they weren't exactly that powerful? You know? <laughs> yeah, it's a, the line he says, like, there's dirty Jewish execs. It's just like, hold on, bro. Let's really stop for a second. Because here's the thing. Let, let me let me give it the benefit of a doubt. It's like, oh, no, I, could, I would have said dirty, uh, uh, I don't know, Samoan execs if they were Samoan, right? <laughs> it's like, okay, okay, let's play this game then. Let's click over to Fox News and hear them talking about black people as thugs. Whoa, 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 they're not talking about black people, they're just talking about those criminals specifically right there that are doing... Yeah, same game, same game, Lupe. It's just like, come on, at least... Like, can you at least stop? Like, can we not act like we have not referred to Jewish people in these sort of bad ways? Like, can you at least get... You know what I'm saying? Like... Because cause if you're not going to do that, you're either being malicious, I mean, like, you're either being, like, you know, the sort of, like, I'm not saying what I'm saying, or you're fucking stupid, and you don't keep up with shit, and, and, and in that way, I can't respect you, right? We're just like, what, I just said dirty Jewish, I don't understand why people took that the wrong way, what, what's wrong with people, it's like, why the fuck do you think people took that the wrong way, bro? Are you engaging with reality right now? Or are you just like, well, people are mad at me. They should understand exactly what I say, what I say, what I say. Like, you know what I mean? And on some things, I do understand where people are like taking a certain misunderstandings and taking it the wrong way. But it's like, with that type of phrasing, it's like, dude, come on. Exactly. The, if you flipped it the exact same way and said, oh, Fox is just calling them thugs. What's wrong? That's not racism. But you can call that out because you're a black man and you can see that. You know what I mean? Because there's two, there's two sides. There's the people who are actually recognize what the social issues are and are calling it out. And then there's people like, ah, I, I, I'm tired of just smoking weed all day. I, I'm going to say something about social commentary. What's up with men being told to wear dresses in movies all the time? Huh? That's real social commentary, bro. This is like, you know what I mean? It's that Jada kiss, you know. I'm, I'm, you know, high as fuck and this is deep. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Jada 34. Precisely. 
You know, it's when rappers think they got it all figured out because they understood a few problems well, and then they start filling in the graphs with conspiracy theories. And it's like, isn't that everybody, you know, to a certain extent? I feel like when you engage, it, 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 it all, it's all about good faith, right? On a certain level, you know, you want to be able to understand what people's arguments are so that you can replicate them and understand where the miscommunications are. But on, a certain, on another level, it's like, I feel like instead of good versus bad, which is how it feels like a lot of these conversations are, I really do think it's knowledge versus not not like uh, a lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like so many times you want to go like, oh, that guy said that thing that that I felt was anti-Semitic. Well, the fuck that guy. He's bad. He's evil. Blah, blah, blah. And instead, I feel like we should go like, whoa, wait, wait, are you ignorant? Do you not know about something? Is there something that you're unaware of? Are we do we have the same level of knowledge and you know, despite us having the same level of knowledge, you've come to your conclusion? Or is there knowledge that you are missing that I have that if you were informed about, you would not be having the opinions that you have? I really do think that we need to, like, start, like, addressing things like that because there's so many times where I see someone going, like, like, oh, you're not on board and realize that that's anti-Semitic? Well, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And it's like, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Can we slow down and realize that we, like... We all know that we were born and raised in a society that told us not to think about these things and break this down, right? And we are finally doing that for the first time, and a lot of people are still in the middle of that. The background radiation of all of that racism is still happening. So I understand that while we're trying to address people and go like, hey, let's call it the racism, like, let's not do the thing of going, and if you are doing it in any capacity, you're a bad person, evil, 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 ontologically evil, because when we do that, we're pushing the people who could be on our side if we explained it better to them into being on the shady people's side, because like, well, I guess I'm an anti-Semite, despite what I'm thinking so I guess I'll walk over here then it's like instead we need to be like whoa, whoa, whoa before you go over there do you know why we're saying that we're like motherfuckers aren't just throwing around because it's it's the assumed understanding thing where people go like well everyone knows that someone who you know uses that phrase must be bad so you use that phrase caught you you're bad you know what I'm saying instead of going like whoa, 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 whoa wait what do you actually think that means you know you know that thing when people say like um um uh, uh, what is it? It's like, I know Jewish people are actually in control, but, uh, 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 and everyone else knows it too, but because that's racist, I have, we have to use nice language. I know black people are really more likely to be criminals, but because that's a racist thing to say, I have to not say it. That's the game that these racist people are playing, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, it's pussy shit. They're fucking cowards and they can't fucking, you know, really argue with it. But I really feel like we need to engage that shit instead of allowing a lot of these motherfuckers to get away with it because I think this is slipping so many motherfuckers into by nature of how we're like not really engaging with them into being along with the dick bags without even having to have a conversation uh, uh, with those people. We're allowing those people to slip into that because we're saying, oh, well, if you don't already get it, you must just be a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you understand what's going on right now and why this rhetoric is considered like this way? Like, you know? <sighs> I think we just need to slow the fuck down, man. Just slow the fuck down.